So I had two other bridges that I wanted to review from Fro Guitars. These are Tele bridges, both made out of stainless steel with brass compensated saddles. This is 1018 stainless steel, and then this is 303 stainless steel. And what I love about these bridges is how they're sealed. So it's stainless steel, he sealed them in a little bit of lacquer. They look aged already with the milling marks. So it doesn't look brand new chrome like everything else. It's got a nice look. He CNC'd his logo in here. All the screws and the saddle screws are bigger than standard screws, so you get a much beefier feel, much more solid feel out of all of this. Good weighting. Nice threads on these screws. This is not garbage. This is really high quality stuff. I love that the height saddle screws are significantly bigger. A little bit more area and room to play with. What's cool is you can do this as back load or bottom load. So depending on how you're building your guitar, you sort of got two options here to go over or come up. That's a great, great way of having some flexibility. None of this stuff is sharp. It's all been polished and sealed. I think these are some really cool Tele bridges. I will be using this one on my Jack Daniels guitar when I don't have a Bigsby on it. I don't need to do anything to it. don't need to age it or anything. It's got the marks. It has that awesome vintage look. What's cool is he has all the hardware with all this, the different Allen wrenches, so you can make any types of adjustments that you need. This is, again, the parts range from 120 to 85 bucks. If you're a builder like me and you're making a couple purchases, he'll give you a little bit better pricing. So shoot him a note, info at Faro Guitars. Really solid stuff, guys. I love these Faro Guitar parts. We'll be putting them on most of my guitars moving forward. So just wanted to review two more bridges for you guys. But thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next vid here.